Good morning, church. Uh, it is such a, a pleasure and an honor to be with you all this morning. Thank you so much for for uh, allowing me the privilege of coming in and being able to serve you as your minister here. I'm, I'm so grateful to be following someone uh, as, as incredible as Pastor Rich, and I'm so excited for what the future holds for us here at uh, the United Methodist Church of Wellsboro. Uh, it's Today is such a special day uh, in in the life of any minister, and so uh, I ask that you would be praying for for all of the ministers that are making this transition today. Uh, be praying for Pastor Rich as he's uh, beginning his time at Athens, and uh, let us lift up all of our churches that we may uh, continually reach out into the world to share the love of God uh, and to transform lives for Jesus Christ. And so. Uh, being that it is a time of transition, I often like to go back to uh, the book of James whenever I'm feeling a little uncertain about uh, how to live as faithfully as possible because uh, the book of James is kind of like, uh, as I call, like the spark notes for Christian living. Uh, and so um, today I'm reading from James 1, 22 through 25. The writer says, Do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Any one of you who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. Let's pray. Gracious Holy Lord, we ask that the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts would be accepting in your sight this day. Amen. Well, today, as we begin this new chapter in the life and the ministry of the United Methodist Church of Wellsboro, as with any new beginning, there's often a bit of excitement while also some anxiousness. It's all kind of rolled up into one neat little package. There is uncertainty, and yet we've dealt with tremendous uncertainty these past four months. And we know that God has continued to be faithful to this church and to each of us. Life has never been without some challenge, but God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Today is the beginning of a new ministry for God's church here in Wellsboro, and yet, even with new beginnings, we want and need to remain honoring of what God has done before and faithful in what God will do in the future. As a United Methodist minister, it's an honor for me to serve with different communities for a time. And it's an honor to follow amazing ministers in the good work that they have done. Because of the very nature of our structure, I believe ministers have stronger bonds and connections with one another. We rely on one another to do good work. We rely on our churches to be great partners in ministry. But most importantly, we rely on God's grace and wisdom to guide our steps. As a young child, I never really had to think about where my food came from. We would hop in the car, we'd drive down to the local giant grocery store, and we'd pick up anything that we needed. And as I got older, never really considered where the food came from or what kind of work was put into growing that food for us. My parents, when I was a little older, began to grow some of our own vegetables in the backyard, both as a fun hobby and as a way of eating healthier and cheaper. It was always a wonderful experience to walk out the back door to pick tomatoes or pepper plants or, or lettuce, whatever, you name it. I love this, and I was so excited 
when Steph and I got married and she showed interest in growing our own garden. The past couple of years we have grown quite a bit of food and, and harvesting veggies all throughout the summer has been a true blessing in our lives. It's an amazing feeling to see the tangible rewards that can come from hard work and dedication all while connecting more with nature. To let you know a little bit of the character that I saw in Pastor Rich and why I was so excited to follow in his leadership with you all, I had to take you all the ways back, a long ways back, all the way back to February. I know that's not that long ago, but it kind of feels like it is, right? When Steph and I came to visit with the council in February, Pastor Rich mentioned that he too also had a green thumb and enjoyed growing a vegetable garden. Knowing we would be moving midsummer, we were disappointed to know that we would be arriving too late for the planting season. Rich so generously asked if we would like for him and Aaron to begin one for us. Steph and I were so grateful for his offer, and we of course accepted his hospitality. Pastor Rich and Aaron began the garden from seeds out in front of the parsonage and, and tended to it until we made our transitions. You can see the fruits of this labor if you drive past the home as the garden is now in full growth teeming with zucchini and dill and kale and spinach. Now Steph and I have the great and wonderful gift of continuing to tend this garden. And soon we'll be able to eat of the veggies of that labor. As we weed and water and prune, we think of all the work that Rich and Aaron put into beginning all of this for us. While reflecting on that this week, it occurred to me that this is quite literally the perfect example of pastoral change. We are called to plant seeds in a community, to help that community tend those seeds, and then assist in gathering up the harvest. Pastor Rich did great ministry with you all and walked alongside you all in that good work. Now it is my privilege to partner with you in continuing to tend the garden until the day that we can harvest a tomato here or a zucchini there and a few peppers from over there. That is the calling that we have all answered. To be Christian is to see where the work needs to be done and work together with the Spirit to get it done. God has gifted us with such an amazing world, and I'm honored to serve alongside colleagues like Pastor Rich. I'm excited for the opportunity to partner with you and this church to do God's work. I feel confident in the work that we can do together because I have seen the work that you all did with Pastor Rich through the Holy Spirit. And yet, this does not make pastoral changes easier. As humans, we are challenged by change, and it will oftentimes feel draining to our souls. This is also where we all find ourselves in this moment in time. The calling for all Christians is to continue to cultivate that good soil and prepare the way of the Lord. James reminds us today that we are not to just listen, but also to do the work. We are to be doers of God's ministry. I can't do that good work by myself. You can't do that good work alone. But together, we can constantly see the beauty of God's creation more fully. Friends, the work has only just begun. There are so many people that Jesus wants us to love on, care for, and touch their hearts. Paul reminds us in 2 Corinthians that Christ's love compels us because we are convinced that one died for all and therefore all died. And he died for all that those who live show no longer live for themselves, but for him who died and raised was raised again. We do not live for ourselves, but rather live to serve others and Jesus Christ. The love that has been poured out on each and every one present here today needs to be shared with others. I believe the United Methodist Church of Wellsboro can continue to be a beacon of light and love in this world. 
through God. We can see our lives continually transformed by, by his infinite grace. It is truly a gift and a blessing to be here with you all today. The past four months have been trying for all of us in so many different ways. But we have and will flourish because God does not forsake or forget about us. God intercedes to bring us hope when there is no hope. Comfort when we feel like the world is crumbling around us and love when we feel most alone. Let us take that message out into our world today. May we prepare ourselves for getting our hands in the dirt and planting even more seeds for Christ. The good shepherd has gone on before us and is laying the path out for us. Church, let us follow him together and see where he leads us. Amen.